Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Listen, it, if you hear my fan, it is so hot. Again, I can't believe we're having like another heat wave in the UK. It's the end of the day, I look like this. And that's how it is. But what we are doing today is another me trying products that you all hate. Yeah. So I asked you over on Instagram, tell me some makeup products that you absolutely despise. Um, some people are like, Scara, but I mean like no specifically like tell me <laughs> so I can try them So that's exactly what I've done. I've grabbed some products that you don't like some of them I had already and haven't really used them So I thought okay, let me get into that and see see what I think But I'll tell you how I feel about them as we go But just before we head into today's video I just want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor and that is Karma Now if you are familiar with my videos or with me then you would have heard me talk about Karma a few times Karma is basically my online shopping best best friend <laughs> So Karma is an app and a Chrome extension that ensures that you never miss a discount code or coupon code. So go ahead and check out Karma using the link I left below in the description box for you. Now here's one reason why Karma is so amazing. For me, I have been waiting for this mirror to come back in stock, right? And it's it's very it's a very popular mirror on the website. Always sells out. I always miss it. So what I did is I added it to my list and I'll talk about those a little bit later. So I get an email from Karma saying this product that you want is now back in stock, like, quick. So I <laughs> I quickly bought it, now I own it, finally, after months and months and months and months and months, and there are so many things I want online, I always forget what I've seen, so to have these emails and notifications, um, is, is so, so handy. And let me tell you as well, the amount of, like, makeup palettes that I want, that I kind of set aside, I'm like, I'm not desperate to get that, I really want it, but I'm not desperate to buy it right now. I'll wait till it's like on a discount. Karma will always let you know when something goes on discount, when there's a coupon available for that product, um, and you can save some more money. So Karma is incredibly easy to use, and this is how it works. All you have to do on Google Chrome is download the Karma extension, or download the app on your phone, and then all you have to do is shop in your favorite stores and click the Karma logo on the side of your screen. And this is gonna allow you to add your products to your own lists that you make. This is my favorite part. I have lists for Halloween, Christmas, um, home decor, anything that I, you know, want to remember to purchase at a later date, I keep on all these lists, and you'll be notified when there is a further discount, a price change, or a relevant coupon code for these products. And you can get notified of any of these price changes if you have an app on your phone by push notifications, or by email. So one of the features of having the Chrome extension is that Karma will scan the web for coupons for you. You don't have to do anything, all you have to do is go to checkout and Karma will say, listen, let's let's try and get you some discounts. And when you shop with selected retail partners, Karma will give cash back to you and also to a good cause. So go ahead and check out Karma's free Chrome extension using the link I left in the description box below for you. Trust me, trust me. If you do a lot of shopping online, not just for makeup, this is an extension that you're going to love. Listen, no, before we get into this, let me tell you, I had, I had like a whole like deal on TikTok because I posted this video in response to this girl who put like red all over her face. And I was like, when someone's using a red like that, like that deep, deep red, that's kind of only useful when somebody has like a really deep under eye and you're gonna like, you know, cover it up and neutralize it, whatever. And everyone was like, but red only cancels green. I was like, yeah, but you can use red under the eyes. <laughs> also, but it only cancelled, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna delete this fucking video, because <laughs> it's too, it's too much, uh, and that's my, that's my thought for today, so let's go into our first product, this is the Shake Primer from KVD Beauty, now, it says, oh, what is that on my hand? It says, High Impact Eyeshadow Primer. I've wanted to try this for a while now because I saw it and I was like, that doesn't make sense to me in any way. So I have to give it a good shake. And then it has like this little nubbin and then a little dripper, like a little uh, thing on the, on the back here. Oh, it's dripping out already, okay. Mm, it's very oily in texture, that little bit that came out. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Eye primers are very important to me. My my concerns with this is that it's oily. Uh, my eyelids are extremely, extremely dry. Uh, sorry, my eyelids are extremely oily, so I need that dryness almost, that tackiness from an eye primer um, to help. Okay. So it comes out basically like an oil. Okay, let's give this a go. Am I, use, am I doing this right? This just seems really wrong. Clear is clear. 
Direct shake well to mix. Remove cap. Press button on the bottom of a bottle to dispense one drop. Use finger to blend on lid. Let it dry for a few seconds before applying eyeshadow. I don't know. I really don't know. I also kind of like that base color from eyeshadow primer. Um, so to have something that doesn't have any color at all, I'm a little bit, mm. So I'm gonna let that dry. While we're letting that dry down, I wanna give it the benefit of doubt. Let's go into another product that you all really, really didn't like, and I'm not sure why, the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Now I used this on a video that me and James did with Look Fantastic. And I really liked it. It looked really smooth on the skin. The foundation went on really nicely. It smelled, yes, it still smells good. Here's a deal with primers. And I think people use too much because we see in those videos where people like dripping product all over their face. You need the tiniest amount and then really get that onto the skin. You don't want like a layer. You don't want your skin to be shiny and it just sitting on top of your skin. Really get it in there. Really push it into the skin gently but firmly at the same time. Getting all your crevices. See, that feels really, really smooth on my skin. Skin looks nice, skin looks nice, but here's the deal. We can't really tell with primers until we pop the product that they're priming for on top, right? So it feels good, but is it actually good? I don't know. I actually can't remember if I've used this palette or not. I think I have swatched it. I was really surprised this one come, came up. I bought this just off my own back thinking like, I wanna try that, not because anyone suggested it to me. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Spanglish palette. Um, I thought it was really cute. I thought the whole thing was really, really cute. So I purchased this. I can't remember if I've used it. I really need to try and remember. We're gonna use it today. I've definitely swatched it because I've left some like shadow in there. Um, it's gonna have to be purple, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, but I kind of, I don't know if this is a fair test because at the same time, I've used a new eye primer. Oh, and I, look, there's this like, little water droplet so you can use them wet as well. That's really cute. Okay, let's use, let's go for this pinky tone here first. I'm really nervous about this eye primer, you know. Oh my God. Okay, so color is going on fine. Quite well, actually, but how will it blend? That's that's the big one. I think it's okay, you know, I think we're all right. The primer I'm talking about, the eyeshadow is, is going on really nice and pigmented and blends out beautifully. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's get this eye look done and then we can make a final decision. And here's another thing as well, like I really like an eye primer to like cover the hairs that I haven't plucked <laughs> just yet. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I think it's fine. Let's go with this really bright pink. I don't know if I can go on creating this look giving the palette justice or giving the palette a good review, not knowing whether it's the eye primer or the palette that isn't working for me. I might take off one eye and do it with my normal eye primer and see the difference. So I'm gonna use my normal Sigma primer, which I absolutely love, best primer for eyeshadow. See, I just, I just, I think, I don't know. I think I just like knowing it's there and that is giving me like a little bit more coverage on the eye. So you know I'm not putting concealer up there, but that's a whole other thing. Let's do it again, same brushes, same everything. I already prefer it with, with the Sigma primer so much more. This is a nice eyeshadow palette, by the way. I don't see how anyone could not like it. It's just eyeshadow doing what eyeshadow does best. Yeah, just I just think it's tidier. Like I can see all my skin through this one. I wonder if I just, look, if I wipe it away. Would it just come away? The colors are coming out like truer to how they are in the palette. Like this was more of that like light pink, whereas this has made it like an, like an orangey pink. No, no to that primer. I agree with you, what an awful. I guess if you were doing something like kind of like quite natural, it'd be quite nice. If you want like a really like natural makeup and you're not into like color. No, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I guess. But even like this Sigma primer, you can use like a tiny bit and blend it. Like, you know, how you would use a foundation or concealer, just use minimal amount. Okay, let's go in. I want to wet these. We'll use the lighter purple and go into the deeper purple. Actually, we'll use the deeper purple first. 
Oh, yeah. Let's take a bit of that through the socket here. I just want to try it dry as well. We'll take the lighter shade dry. Yeah, nice. Let's try the other side wet. I feel like it does need to be a little bit wet, actually. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for that purple, the darker purple, to dry a little bit and then take some through the socket. But I've just kind of wet it, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. Um... <laughs> I definitely, I do prefer, obviously, uh, the side with my normal primer. I really don't like that primer at all. Um, so the side of a, with a primer, my normal primer, the eyeshadows, love it. I think it's great. Okay, let's do foundation next, and then we'll finish up under the eyes. Someone said this, and every time I see it, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. And this time I decided to do that. So this is Maybelline. <laughs> you know what's coming. Dream Matte Mousse. Who remembers? Do you remember? I remember. It smells like what I think Avon might have smelt like in the 80s. Okay, so let's just give it a go. This is the shade 040, I believe. Fawn. Mm, that was going to be a bit light. I do have a deeper shade as well. Okay, I'm going to give it the benefit of a doubt, and I'm going to use a brush that I know I like to use for foundation. I know it's a powder brush, but that's just what I like. <laughs> I feel like you get a really nice blend from it that way. I would love to know, is there anyone out there who uses Dream Matte Mousse and loves it? Like, swears by it. I think we have this stigma with it as well, where it's like, oh, it used to be used, used a certain way. You know? So maybe that's why we think poorly of it, because it used to be <laughs> caked on with a sponge. I have to, I'm gonna have to like get myself together a little bit. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I think I like it. I think I like Dream Matte Moves. <laughs> if you don't go crazy with it, it's kind of okay. I'm so, I don't know what to do. Okay, let me get some some concealer, and then um, we'll we'll t we'll sit down and we'll talk about this. The color's slightly ghostly on me, but the finish. Okay, so what we'll do? I'll leave it, and then I'll do all my makeup, and then we'll summarize at the end because we need to see how it sits on the skin, right? <laughs> we need to see how it sits on the skin before I make any any brash decisions. Let's finish up under the eyes quickly. It is so hot in this room, but I can smell one of my candles melting. It's not lit, I can just smell it melting. <laughs> I do like this. I like, I really like the eyeshadow palette. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, now I've got foundation on, I can't really notice the difference in, in primer. Bronzer, we have Hula Caramel. This is, <clears throat> apart from back in the day with Benefit, Benefit was my first ever foundation. Um, and it was the record one, do you remember? I fucking loved that stuff. I wonder what happened to it. Anyway, I loved it. And that was the first Benefit product I used. And then I used to use Boing and Lemonade when they were in little compacts. That's before I was like doing makeup. That's when I was like in school. But this is like, I consider this like one of my newer first products from Benefit because I didn't use Benefit for years after that. And this is one of the first products I used after like coming back to benefit and I really really like it I think I can understand maybe it's not as like warm maybe not as red as some people may like um but I think that's why I like it because it definitely has more of what I would consider a bronzer tone to it so it doesn't look orangey on the skin basically <laughs> Now, you were all about to make me really super broke because some of the products you were suggesting were very high-end. And listen, I don't mind a high-end product. I've never tried YSL before, I don't believe. Apart from their Touche Club, but that was like on clients and I never really used it myself, did I? It's this orangey shade, basically. Um, I still, I honestly, I still can't believe that brands are... Should we try it? Let's just use this brush and see. Yes, but somebody said YSL blush and I was like, that's really interesting because it's a high-end brand. They cost more, um, <laughs> for some reason. We all know because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's better. But let's give it a go. Let's sniff it. Oh, it smells nice. No, just, honestly. Hmm. 
my God, these are higher end products. You really have to keep going in and in to try and get any kind of pigmentation out. It was the same with a Chanel one. You have to go in a few times and it comes off of this uh, strange like neon <laughs> color. I, yeah, I really don't like this. I really don't like that. I really don't like that at all, actually. Let's blend it a little bit with my Dream Matte Mousse brush. Do you see what I mean by like this weird like neony orange? It's not quite, I don't know. And then the Chanel ones were the same. It had like this neon underglow to it. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I'm very confused with these high-end products. Some I really like, like don't get me wrong. Some I think are worth investing in, but that blush, I had one from, I have one from Rude Cosmetics, which is better than this, a same color, but is better than this, more pigmentation, goes on nicer. I just, if it's, like I get some people want like a natural finish, but you want something to come out. Natural doesn't mean nothing, you know? Okay, let's move on to highlighter, because that was just not fun. Somebody said, I get so many mixed reviews, right? Some, whenever I do like a full face off video, someone's always like, please do a full face of Essence, which I will, I'm getting to it. But then a lot of people were suggesting Essence products in, you know, to me that are bad reviews. And somebody said anything from Essence. So because no one was really recommending a highlighter, I chose a highlighter palette from Essence. And this is the Choose Your Glow Highlighter Palette. I think I'm gonna go for this Candle Lit Glow. I'm gonna go for this Candle Lit Glow, which is this peachier one on the end. This is my first time ever using Essence, by the way. Essence anything. No. It's a no. <laughs> okay, change change around. Let's go for summer glow on the other side. That looks the same. Oh no, it doesn't. It's slightly different. That's nice. That's nice. Let's try and save this quickly. Quick dream that moves. I really, I quite like that. That's fine. And like the good kind of fine, not like the bad kind of light where I'm like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that's, a ni that's a nice glow, right? I, d I think that's quite nice. I really, I, I really quite like that. No problems here. No problems with Essence so far, but we'll see in the future how things go. Now, imagine my surprise when somebody suggested this one. This is the ColourPop Roller Gloss. When I saw somebody said that, I was like, oh my God, I love the Roller Gloss. And then I was thinking, but what do I, what do I really like about the Roller Gloss? And for me, it was like memories and the smell. And I was like, but do I like the actual product? I don't know. So let's give it a go. This is the van is this a vanilla one? Is it ice cream or vanilla something? It smells it smells amazing, that's all I know. Hmm. I'm gonna give that a minute because it feels very, very wet. Very wet and very slippery. And not like the good kind of like watery texture. Not like Luna Beauty glosses where it's like, that feels like a gloss, but also like nice. This just feels generally quite wet. So I'm gonna let it hang out for a little bit and move on to our last hated product. So, so somebody said magnetic lashes and liner. And listen, I get this because I personally don't like many magnetic lashes. I think they're kind of shit. Um, and I did a review ages ago. I'll link it below, but it's a super old video. So I'm sorry for like any kind of like, not that goodness in the video. Um, and it was the one that you see generally from anywhere. That's kind of like that drop shipped from AliExpress. Um, you know, has a weird um, tube app. You know what I mean? And I found that the magnetic, the magnet on the lash would like say you stuck it down and it didn't quite fit. If you wanted to take it off, you had to go back on again. The magnets really interrupted the shape of a liner. So you'll do this really nice liner and then suddenly, you know, you wanted to move your lash just very slightly, it would come off. So recently I've been using the glam Glamnetic ones. This is a Hello Kitty and Friends ones. Now when I see a collection, I, I'm I'm into collections, like I need to buy collections. So I bought the whole set because I just thought they were really cute and they're like, you know? And what I really liked about this one is it wasn't a liquid liner, it was more of a felt tip liner. So I didn't feel like it would interrupt as much. So I don't actually want a solid line on this look. So I'm almost gonna like, 
like dot the liner, but not really. I'm just gonna do like a very fine line across my lash line. And that's also another thing I found. I found with this one, I could do this, just like a very fine line, one layer. With the other one, that was like quite a cheapy one. It, I had to keep building and building and building and I had to do a really thick line. I should say also the person who commented this was being very specific to magnetic lashes and liner, not just magnetic lashes. Magnetic, magnetic lashes. Let's give it a second to dry. Let me do some eye pencil while I'm waiting. They hardly do anything. <laughs> These ones are quite natural, but you know what? All of them look kind of natural. I have yet to find any that have that like feathery, like faux mink kind of look. Yeah, like they're not like the, the most outrageous lashes, but they do just give like a little bit of something. I wish there was something a little bit more dramatic, but there isn't really. Let me powder this face and then we will um, have a look and summarize. Okay, so let's look at this eye primer. To be honest with you now, they kind of actually just both look the same. Now I kind of like added in a little bit more color. I like the skin. I like the Dream Matte Mousse. I'm so sorry. I like Dream Matte Mousse. I like it when used correctly. I think it's nice. It looks kind of okay, right? Like I was expecting dry, crusty, 16 year old, you know, using makeup for the first time. Well, actually, now it'll be like 10, nine year old using makeup for the first time. But I don't hate it. Um, but has that blush completely gone? Can, can you see that blush anymore on my skin? Was it just like, no, if you're gonna talk about me like that, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see it. Am I, am I going crazy? Am I being stupid? Is it gone? It's shit, it's shit anyway. I'm glad it's gone. Bronzer, great. Highlighter, fine. Lips, I feel like this is about to like disappear off my lip in like 10, 15 minutes, but it smells good. Oh, my ring just fell off. It smells good. So that was a confusing one. I feel un unachieved. I feel like I unachieved what I wanted to do today because I'm unsure about a few things. Um, <laughs> let me know what you think. I'll, I'll just agree with you all. <laughs> let me know what you think down below. Let me know if there's any products that you really didn't like that you would like for me to try and see what I think about them. Let me know if you use Dream Matte Mousse. I can't believe it. What the, the biggest shock of this whole thing was that the Dream Matte Mousse was okay, was kind of good. I, I mean, the shade I could get better, but it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring this video. Please check out the link I left below in the description box so you can download the free extension. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Please consider subscribing and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.